Все. This is an experiment I'm going to be doing with uh, comic book panels. These are painted frames. My plan is to cut these out and collage into them word balloons and figures. Okay, the next step is to oops, reinforce some of these lines with ink. So I've got some ink here. Oops, shit. Excuse me. Pour a little there. Okay. Well, looks like I got some ink on my painting. But you know, with art, you work with it. Okay. So, I want to just uh, reinforce these lines. These lines I drew with, with uh, India ink. And I covered them over with tempera paint. And I like this kind of comic feel. And when I when I got the camera rolling, I tend to hurry. Things start getting a little sloppy, but my particular style is okay with that. I can handle sloppiness or working in a or, or working in a hurried fashion. It's uh, kind of the nature of comics. It's got can have an urgent look. You don't want it to look too pretty, too precious. Uh, the challenge for me is to make it look good, exciting, but done quick and hurried. You know, people don't linger on comics. They kind of blaze through them. I do. And the artwork should probably be made at the same pace that you read them, roughly speaking. Okay, so here I've outlined, I've outlined this border. Here's another one. And maybe I'll just add some pattern to this one here. Uh, wait a minute. I'll just, these are painted lines. This is an uh, India ink I'm painting on paper, just out of a sketchbook. And, uh, oops. The lines initially were done in, in a, a marker pen, like a magic marker. And I'm going over, then I painted them with tempera. I'm going over them with India ink. And, you know, I can even add some, some decorative things here. Dot, 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 dash. Or, you know, lines. Gives it kind of a woody texture or... Okay, just a little visual interest. All right. Livens it up a bit, and we'll do the same thing here. I'll put here. I'll put some dots, dots and spots, big, small dots. This this bottom one looks kind of like a a lower intestine or some sort of gut. All right. Okay, well, so we got these two. They're looking good. I'm going to stop the camera for a moment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, glue down some just shards of watercolor painting. So this is uh, scraps of a watercolor painting I've got. I just cut it into pieces. I'm just going to see if I can just add some spot color from a painting. I'm going to just take two pieces, two pieces per, per painting, two scraps, and hope that uh, it provides enough visual interest. So I don't, I don't have to have anything specifically drawn back there like a cityscape or a landscape, but just having some sort of shape and color back there that looks painted, uh, that's a little more complicated than, um, than the cartoony style I used earlier with these frames. But that difference just this modeled color will create the impression that there's, you know, a bush or a building or something, something, just it's an abstracted something. You know, to use your imagination to figure out what it was. The fact that I'm placing it on the lower part of the picture will give you the suggestion that it's landscape of some sort. But it's actually just very abstract. It's just colored shapes. It's up to you to figure out what you want that to be. So I'm just going to glue down the second shape here, oops, like this. Okay, so I've got three mediums here so far. I've got tempera paint, this color paint, on paper, glue uh, with uh, ink, brush and ink, and then what I'm doing now is collaging in bits of an old 
watercolor painting. So I, right now it looks really colorful. And it's starting to look like comics, but I need a few other elements. Okay, next I've got these, um, these are word balloons. These are actually very decorative word balloons. They're pen and ink drawings. And I just, uh, I've got the basic word balloon shape with the word balloon tail. And I went back into it and just started making a, an illustration out of it. So it's a, it's a very, it's a, uh, it's a very kind of psychedelic drawing in the shape of a word balloon. And I use these designs to place in these boxes as if they were comics. I want it to look and feel like comics, but a little more like art also, not just simply, it's, these balloons aren't used simply to hold words. They're actually supposed to be decorative elements unto themselves. So I got this a painted border uh, for this word for this uh, panel. I got a pa collage painting for the for the uh, background, and then I've got another. This is a a uh, pen and ink word balloon, which I'm going to have just pointing in here. Okay, I found as I was looking through a sketchbook, I found a doodle drawing I'd made in charcoal, and I think this, the shapes in here and the the, the way the strokes look would nicely complement the design I've got going on in this word balloon I cut out earlier. So I'm going to cut this out and just use it as kind of a decorative element in in this picture. Well, okay, this will just be some character. Okay, it's uh, some kind of 50s or 60s superhero character just because I get to draw some anatomy and muscles and whatnot. And so this is what I learned to draw when I was a kid. And it gives me a good excuse to draw comics. Okay. So I've got a drawing here. This is a, uh, whoops. I'm going to do this like a, a 3D comic. So it's, I'm going to trace over this, this, um, Drawing. Oops, looks like cross that. I think it's a certain character, isn't he? Hope not. All right, I'll just put a little. Uh, looks like he works in a circus. Okay, so I got this drawing of this guy. I'm just gonna go over these lines I just made. To make it more 3D, so I'm gonna just duplicate the drawing and uh, just offset it slightly, just like they do in 3D comics. Although it's gonna look a little odd. Hope I get it right. Just one, just take a second. Okay. Oops. Let's see. All right. Okay, so I've got them all oops, duplicated, so he kind of looks 3D. Now I think the top, okay, so i got several different drawing styles here. I've got this black and white charcoal drawing, these pen and ink cutouts painting in the background, temper paint, ink. Uh, this is an oil crayon, oil pastel crayon. Done double, uh, duplicated, you know, doubled twice. I need to tie all this together. So I think a good idea would maybe, maybe be to use some uh, orange, maybe a, a fluorescent orange. Ah, you know, blue would look good. Blue and orange tend to look good together. So what I'm going to do I'll just, uh, I'll just use the, the painting itself as my palette. And I'm just going to go in here and quickly spread some orange paint. Okay. So this orange in the background will unify the picture. Oops. There we go. Now I'm just trying, this is actually what I'm, this is actually an experiment for me. I'm, I'm illustrating uh, an approach to create uh, comics 
using fine art materials and just experimenting with a few different methods, uh, I'm looking for a way to to uh, a, a process, a way to create this stuff that leaves it interesting for me. That's all several avenues to explore. Um, okay, I'm making a mess here with this uh, charcoal over the over the um, painting. The one good thing is it does make it easier for me to see the word balloon that I've painted over, but I kind of just lost my charcoal drawing. It's okay. There really wasn't much of there anyway. That's why I chose it, because it was uh, I could use it to experiment. Okay, so one more little bit of orange. I should be done here. There we go.